Bonjour, it's Marianne Lecoeur and welcome to my closet. Today in this video, I'm going to show you more of my closet and why, you know, this way of presenting you your pieces really helps you create a better outfit. Shall we begin? Let's begin. So welcome to my closet, this is one half and this is my closet but this is my studio also. This is why they are displayed this way but I use it as my closet. So first of all this is my dummy. I have two dummies as you can see here and I use them all the time to create outfits as I mentioned in previous videos. So first of all this is the area with the light neutral, the light the off-white and also the beige, the camel and the dark browns. So this is the extent of what I have in those shades, including you know this shirt here. So I've always done that. Um, this is the way I, I have displayed it in my closet, even when I was uh, much, much, much younger. Um, as a young girl, my clothes go from dark to light or light to dark, short to long. So you would see that, for instance, light to darker but these are jackets so I always put them towards the back uh, blouses and the light sweaters and here again you know light to dark but here is the jacket and the trench so the trench is long this is why I put it against the end like this this is where I've always done it so I've got a couple of sweaters here but of course my sweaters can be folded as well like this. I've just shot a couple of videos. This is why at the moment they're on hangers. This is why you will see my sweaters on hangers when I shoot videos because it's easier, you know, to um, to display them and also to talk about them. So, um, of course, it's always up to you how you make your your closet work for you. There are many ways to display clothes, to store them, fold them. Hang them is always up to you. Um, bearing in mind that you know items in wool, um, you know may be better folded so that you don't have the mark of the hanger on your shoulder, and also the type of hanger you use is important also on um, to choose how to to hang your clothes. So for instance, you know you have to banish those, those really thin wire hangers because. They're only there for dry cleaning, and but not really to keep the clothes for a long period of time. Otherwise, your um, some garment, especially wool, will show the mark here. So you don't want to start putting your sweater on and have you know <laughs> putting marks on the side on your shoulders like this. Something to think about. Um, so of course, this is also for display when I shoot videos. So, you know, if it was just for me, I would have probably less and maybe I have more things here. But I've got the belts here. I've got a scarf that could go, again, you know, that could go with different um, pieces. Belts, uh, a fur scarf, faux fur, some sweaters and the shoes high at the bottom in neutral. So. The good thing to have your closet, and I always advise that in my Tazi Closet e-course to my students, is to have your, your colors separated. So have the light colors on one side and have the darker ones that go you know, from light to dark again. Why is it helpful? It is helpful because it is easy to create outfits. You just take one piece, you just take another one, and you know they will go together. Again, a no-brainer. Think of that. Things that are easy for you, easy for you. And of course, it starts from, you know, from shopping. It starts from the curation of your closet. This is what us French women do. Huh? I mentioned that in a number of videos because it's important to remember. Please make plenty of notes in your style journal because every piece you buy, you know, has to work with as many of your other pieces as you can to get the most out of wear, out of them, and to get the most wear out of your item. Okay, cost per wear, I've discussed it, discussed it, oh, I think when I first wrote my first uh, book, back in 2011, I mentioned that. So, I can pick any item here, because they're all one color, I know that it will go with 
other items. Okay, this is something that is easy to do. This is why I always go the easy way, the simple way, the way that works. Okay, so I know that all the species or most of the species will go together. This is why it is really helpful. And now the dark side, the black. Okay, so again, here, the no brainer, everything goes together. I have you know, some sweaters, I have some blouses, again, the sweaters, you know, I've just shot some videos, I'm showing sweaters, this is why they're here, but, you know, of course, I would fold them so that they don't retain the mark of the hanger. The black footwear, so I've got some heels, some pumps, I've got my brogues, and I've got my high heel boots, I've got black, uh, my black bags, I've got my belt, and a black and white scarf. I've also got a black and white skirt here, I put it in there because it's a little bit smarter because black and white, of course, you know, goes so well together. Black and white monochrome, you know, if you do not know how to create outfits, try black and white monochrome. It is easy. Wear mostly black, one piece white, or mostly black with one piece black and white, or mostly white with, you know, black and white piece. There's so many ways to wear uh, black and white monochrome, and 99.99% .99 of the time, it works. So, very easy to do. So, you can see on this side, I've got the dark and the white. These are interchangeable. I can wear, you know, all these with this piece. Not the dark brown with the black, but everything else I can wear with those very easily. As I said, the brown does not usually go with black. So, but the lighter, you know, the camels and the, the cream go well with black. So, I mean, you can see as well something else in this area that these clothes look smarter. These kind of colors, you know, the, the light neutrals, the light brown and the whites um, and the creams and the black and black and white, elevates an outfit. This is why these pieces here go so much better to create a, an elegant outfit, something to go out, something for an occasion, for instance, as opposed to the other side of my clothes that I will show you in a moment, which are colors. So I have the blues on the other side, I have the grays, and I have the red and the pink. So you will see the difference. So I moved my mannequin out of the way to show you my full length mirror. So again, this is one of the, of the items you need to have in your closet or in your bedroom uh, or you know any other place that you get dressed because you see your whole outfit and you see straight away if it works and what does not work. So it is really handy to have next to your clothes. Okay, you can even pick up anything like that and have a look in the mirror. Oh, yeah, okay, now put it on or put it on your dummy, you know, something like that. I recommend. So, what do you think so far of this closet? Um, have you got something similar? Do you display your clothes? Do you store your clothes by color? I always advise that by color and then by category of item. Please let me know in the comments below and also write in your style journal. Maybe pause this video and write in your style journal, you know, what you see here, what would work with your pieces, with your closet. It's not just about me, it's also about you. What is your style lesson today? Your style lesson is about the colors, you know, the colors that go together, the colors that you have, that you wear, and what can be worn with each other, and how you store to make it easy for you to dress. For instance, if I had just one wardrobe, so I would go from the light to the black, and I, I know exactly where to go to create an outfit. I need something this color, something to go with that. I would pick a piece here, pick there, straight away. I know straight away what I have in each color. So of course, it's so easy to create outfits like that when all your clothes are you know, categorized and ordered like that, especially by color. Shall we begin? So this is the second part of the closet. You saw that part here with the white and the beige and the blacks. This is now the color area. So first of all, we have the banquette. 
when I sit uh, to chat to clients or you know to shoot some videos I have my little table with my magazines and this is the area so here are all the extra colors these colors that are um, you know that I wear in small amount not as much as the others uh, my blacks and my let's say whites you know a classic timeless deep blues as well and some greys okay so now these colors are those colors that I'm gonna wear you know uh, one piece at a time with some of the others that I have okay so this is why there are not many so I've got the pinks and I've got a pink dress and I've got my maroon um, skirt I've got the, the pinks and the red sweaters I've got a scarf some red shoes and some greens here so you know I couldn't do a whole display of just pinks or red I haven't got enough so I did the greens here and you see I don't have uh, many green pieces but I have my beloved green jacket over there this is the piece out of the greens that I wear the most so I have the blues um, I've got the pink scarf here but this would go in here by the moment is here you can see there is not many um, shoes I don't have many blue shoes I have well those two pairs <laughs> um, but it's alright because with the blue I can wear uh, off-white nude or I can wear brown or even black so that's fine so you can see I've got some lighter blues and I've got much navy so you can see how really easy it is as you see straight away the colors that you wear mostly or you have the most of so hopefully the one you have the most of others you know you wear the most more often and you can see that I wear a lot of blue whether lighter you know such as shirts or uh, navy blue and this is very much this is very much a French closet and also this is very much a French closet this could be the French closet of any French woman really uh, because it is classic, it is timeless, it is chic, it is elegant you can wear most pieces with each other can you see here what I'm trying to show you this is a quintessential French chic capsule wardrobe okay so you know the blues here can be worn so many ways I'm wearing, this is where I'm wearing um, you know my jeans a blue top, this blue and white scarf I could wear also uh, a colored scarf, many colors, such as this one, the red and blue here. I have my sweaters and over there just the grays. I don't have much gray, but the grays I can wear as well with those off-white, you know, with the blacks. Uh, some of them with the blue, especially the, you know, the, the light gray sweater I can wear with the blue jeans. Now, what I wear mainly, and you will see from the videos that I have made, these are the colors that I wear. Of course, here it's mainly now autumn and winter wear, and I've got a few more pieces to bring in from, for the winter. But, um, but you can see, this is the type of clothes I wear, and there are so many, so many combinations. So, please pause this video in a minute, have a look in your wardrobe. How is it, you know, um, ordered, displayed? Can you see at a glance which are the colors that you have? If they're all mixed, you will not see anything. If everything is mixed, you cannot create an outfit. It's impossible. This is why you may feel stressed in the morning because it is difficult to pick out things. For me, you know, I pick one item and say, oh, I'm going to wear that today. Okay, now I'm going around. But I can wear it with. Easy. But if, on the other, you know, on the other hand, if your closet is cluttered if your closet is not organized it will be so much more difficult extremely difficult to create outfits for you you know um, in a stressful stress free way okay so try to organize your closet in that write in your style journal again you know which colors you have how you're organizing 
this and that. And, and you will discover, by organizing your closet, you will discover things that no longer work for you, that you no longer like. Even if your closet is decluttered, it always happens. It is a process. It's never, it's not, your closet is not, okay, this is my closet, it's done forever. No, it evolves just like you. You know, your, your taste evolves. When, you know, when you were in your 20s, you like such clothes, uh, but now, 20, 30, 40 years later, your taste has changed, you have changed, your body has changed, and you wear clothes that are different, maybe even different color, different style, different fabrics. So many things evolved over time. And here I have my sewing, um, sewing basket, sewing box uh, for the repairs. I advise us as well, women, my students, to, you know, when you go through your washing, have a look, oh, this button is a little bit loose. You know, put it aside, maybe you haven't got time to do now, but put it on the side next to the sewing box so you can sew that button. Otherwise, if you put it away with the button loose, you know, and I know, that you will not be wearing that item because that button is loose, so you can't wear it or it will fall off. So it is a good idea to store things next to the sewing box so you know it is to be done. So this is it, this is my closet. You saw the two um, parts, the black and white, and you have noticed now, you see the colors, and you, see, you remember the black and white, which side is the most elegant? And I told you before, the white, and the black was the most elegant part, whereas this is so much more casual. Can you see the difference in just colors? How pieces can look more casual? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please, if you enjoyed it, click like and share it with your many friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you in my next video. And uh, thank you again very much. A bientôt.